Hello, today we're going to show how to use EXOs to share uh, the internet over a mesh network of uh, OLPCs. So, using Open 802.11s, which is the mesh networking stack in the Linux kernel. I'm wearing my EXO t-shirt for compatibility. And um, uh, let me describe a little bit just uh, what, what we're going to do. So, uh, A, B, and C in this uh, diagram are EXOs. And uh, we have an access point here that's our office access point. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn A into a mesh router. And that's going to cause A to associate with our office uh, access point so that it can access the internet. And it's also going to start a mesh network that the other XOs can talk to. So after we've established this me mesh network, we're going to turn on C, and C is going to join into this mesh network so it can talk to A. But it's not going to be associated with the access point, so it's not going to have any access to the internet. But because we set A up as a mesh router, A will forward the traffic on behalf of C to the internet, and we'll be able to ping an outside node from C. Next, we're going to take C out of the office, and we're going to move it far away, so that it's out of radio range of A. And they'll no longer be able to ping the outside world because it's uh, simply too far away from its, from its link. And so after that, we're going to introduce B in between A and C, and we're going to turn it on, and it's going to join the mesh network. And now, B is going to forward the traffic on behalf of C to A, who is then going to forward the traffic on to the Internet. So then the C will recover its ability to connect to the Internet. So we got traffic going all the way through here and out to the Internet like that. So again, B and C will only be on the mesh. A will be acting as a mesh router, so he'll be on the mesh network and on the infrastructure network. And then the, the, the internet is out here somewhere, and A is connecting everybody up. As promised, we have three XOs here. They're labeled A, B, and C to correspond to our diagram. Uh, so what do we have to do? Well, first, we're going to make A into a mesh router. So we're going to connect it to our office access point, and then uh, show that we can ping Google. So how do we do that? Mesh tool is the uh, tool that we're using here. We tell it the SSID of our office network. And we tell it we want to be an M router, mesh router. Okay, so it associates, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this text, but there we are. Now, we have this audible ping that we can use to show that we're pinging Google. And there you can hear the uh, ping. Okay. So now, we've this, now, although you can't tell yet, this has also started a mesh network that we're going to use to connect these other XOs to uh, A and also to the internet. They'll use, uh, they'll use the, um, A will forward the traffic to the internet on, their, on behalf. So we're going to use C for this part. So all we're going to do here is we're going to use mesh tool to join the mesh network that we already created. And after it gets its address, we will ping Google. And you can tell by that beep that it is pinging Google. Now, maybe you don't believe me, and maybe you think that this thing's just associated to our office access point. So I'm just going to let that continue beeping, and I'm going to bring this guy down. and the beeping stops because it can no longer reach Google. Now I'm going to bring this guy back up. And the ping resumes. So that's uh, pretty convincing, I suppose. 
Okay, so now we're going to walk with this one as far away as we can until we stop hearing this beep, which is going to indicate that we're outside of the, the wireless range of A. And so I'm going to unplug it here, and we're going to walk. So here we are in the stairwell, uh, some distance away from node A with node C. And uh, you can hear that beep still, so we're still in range. But if we keep walking, we'll eventually start losing beeps. And it looks like we've pretty much hit that threshold here. Oh, a couple of beeps. We're going to go a little bit farther just to be sure that we're well out of range. And yeah, this, this should do it. We're, here we are in the, uh, about uh, two floors below our office in the stairwell, and we can't uh, uh, hear the ping anymore. So we're just going to leave that guy here, and we're going to go get node B, and we're going to stand one floor below our office and see if we can't recover by introducing another mesh node. So here we are back with nodes A and B. Node A is acting as the mesh router, and we're going to add node B to the mesh here. Like that. Okay, and it gets its address from node A, who's acting as the router. And now, just uh, let's make sure we can ping Google here. Oops, wrong ping. We need the audible ping. And you can hear that beep, so we're, we're reaching, uh, reaching Google. Um, you'll have to trust me that it's going through uh, node A. Okay, and then now we're going to move this node close to the other node so that we can bridge the node that's too far out of range back into the mesh. So, here we go. Back to the stairwell. These XOs have a pretty good range, so we got to go pretty far. All right. Oh, you can hear the beep a little bit. Maybe you can't hear that on the camera, but um, we'll leave this XO here. And then go check on our other node that's out of range and see if, see if that beep came back.